Jeremy's dad was driving along in his Toyota Highlander. The driver of a white pickup truck was driving distracted, interpret that how you will, before traffic ahead of them came to a stop. <laughs> the white pickup smashed into the pickup in front of it, pushing it into another pickup, which was then pushed into a sedan. In total, four vehicles were involved in this fender bender. Swen was on his way home after returning something to his local hardware store. When he approached a slight bend in the road, an oncoming driver tried to cut across Swen's lane. Swen slammed on the brakes, but he couldn't avoid a head-on collision. The other driver accepted fault, and Swen filed an insurance claim for his whiplash and to get his car fixed. Unfortunately, the insurance company told Swen his car was totaled. He's still waiting for them to cut him a check, so in the meantime, he's replaced his car with his own savings. This submitter was driving his Ford Bronco down a Virginia highway when a white pickup truck came flying up next to him at about 80 miles per hour. When the driver slammed on their brakes to swerve behind another vehicle, something broke. I'm sure someone will tell us what in the comments. And the truck developed a violent wobble in the front steering. Our submitter veered right to avoid the struggling truck, barely avoiding getting sideswiped. The truck then continued along at around 65 miles per hour until our submitter lost sight of them in traffic. Ed was headed to work in Malaysia, going about 60 miles per hour to make it in time for a meeting. Without signaling, the driver of a Peugeot suddenly merged into Ed's lane in front of him. Ed had no time to slow down and slammed into the Peugeot, flipping it over. The police were notified and Ed made a claim with the other driver's insurance. The other driver claimed he'd used his turn signal, but the dash cam video shows otherwise. Without the video evidence, the police told Ed he would have been held responsible for the accident. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Repairing Ed's car cost about 3,500 US dollars. After Fred finished driving through a construction zone, the driver of an Audi began to follow him closely in the passing lane. Fred sped up so he could finish passing vehicles and return to the travel lane, but I guess he was too slow for the driver of the Audi. As Fred began to get over, the Audi driver floored the accelerator, shooting past him on the right and using the shoulder to get around him. He then brake checked Fred, and when Fred swerved left to avoid a collision, the Audi driver swerved back in front of him. Fortunately, Fred's exit was coming up, and he was able to escape the impatient Audi driver's dangerous maneuvers. Pearson was headed to the office after a meeting with a client when another driver who was on their phone nearly forced him out of his lane. Pearson laid on his horn, swerving multiple times to avoid a collision while the other drivers struggled to get control of their vehicle. They decelerated so hard they were nearly rear-ended by a white Tesla Model Y. I wonder if we'll see that clip over on Wham Bam Tesla Cam someday. Visut was headed to school one morning in the Volvo V70 they just finished rebuilding from the ground up. When traffic came to a complete stop, the driver of the Honda behind them was too busy with their phone to notice. Jump in! Honda bumped! Honda bumped! The Honda impacted Visut's car at 55 miles per hour, bending the frame and jamming the rear doors shut. It was still drivable, but the insurance company totaled it anyway, and Visut used the money to get a Volvo XC70 11 years newer. Still, they're bummed about the car they just finished fixing being wrecked by someone on their phone. Here's another dash cam clip from yours truly. My wife and I were out running errands one day when the driver of a Chevy Cruze decided to turn the sidewalk into a turn lane to get around traffic. Look at this guy. We're turning right too, Dude. dumb dumb. He's like lady, it's freaking old. She's on the curb. I know. What the heck? Before anybody comments telling me I should have moved over to the left, there's only one lane in each direction on this road and we were waiting to turn right. If there was a right turn lane, we would have been in it. Obviously that lady was just way more important than anyone else on the road. 
Craig and his wife Maureen were headed to her parents' house when they watched a Honda driver thread the needle between a box truck and an SUV. By the way, this is the truck that Honda driver cut off. It's rated to carry up to 10,000 pounds of cargo. If the SUV had slowed down for any reason, there could have been five tons plus the weight of the truck crushing that Honda. As Sean entered a highway with heavy traffic, he told us he suspected he might capture a wham bam dash cam moment. Well, Sean, it looks like your instincts were correct. About 10 minutes later, he watched an older Toyota Corolla rear end a Nissan Rogue. He couldn't stop due to the heavy traffic, but he's just happy the accident didn't involve his Acura, which he calls a fancy Honda. Joe was driving in downtown Hamilton, Ontario, when a man he doesn't know walked out into the road and stood in front of his car yelling. After he moved out of the way, Joe sped off. In his rearview mirror, he could see the guy continuing to block and yell at other vehicles. Joe says, that's Hamilton for you. This submitter was driving along when they watched a cyclist ride out into traffic, nearly getting hit in the process. Our submitter says some cyclists sure have no cares in the world and this is why they are despised by drivers. Molly was driving down a California highway when she watched a white Jeep rear end stopped traffic. After hitting a sedan, the Jeep then rolled across a lane and into another car. Molly stopped and put her hazard lights on just in case. The driver of the Jeep was a woman eight and a half months pregnant and she was very shaken up. Fortunately, nobody was injured, even though no airbags had deployed. Eric was sitting at a red light when a Nassau County police vehicle rolled up next to him. When the cop car started to roll across the crosswalk, Eric started inching up too. He wasn't expecting what happened next. Eric wanted to point out that the police are supposed to enforce laws, not break them, and they should be careful because there's always someone watching. This submitter was headed into town with his fiance when a semi truck started turning all the way across the highway in front of him. He'd seen the truck well in advance, but he thought it was just crossing the highway. Our submitter slammed on the brakes while honking, sliding off the road and into a yard in his Pontiac G5. A pickup driver stopped and told him that he'd seen the semi pull into a Walmart parking lot, so our submitter followed and called the police. The trucker was very aggressive and the responding officer took his word over that of our submitter, until he saw the dash cam footage that is. The trucker got a ticket for failing to yield. Luckily, our submitter's car wasn't damaged. Here's another driver who failed to yield. Tony was on his way home from school when he saw a Chevy SUV get T-boned. The Tahoe driver was injured and Tony called 911 and provided a copy of his dash cam footage. This week's Tesla behaving badly is a little different. Eddie was running errands when he came across a wrecked Tesla whose driver was nowhere to be found. That, that Tesla man can't drive 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 The newer Model S was apparently abandoned and there were no other wrecked vehicles, emergency responders, or even crash debris around. Eddie thinks it might have been stolen, but I'm leaning toward a drunk driver who fled the scene of an accident before ditching their car, or someone else's. Let us know your theory in the comments. Eddie wanted to shout out his wife Yannet and daughter Jade, who's 15 and learning how not to drive by watching Wham Bam videos. Here's a lesson for you, Jade. Bill was headed home from work when a work truck pulling a trailer had to swerve hard to avoid the driver of a Mercedes that had stopped halfway through an intersection.
Evidently, the Mercedes driver thought they should stop and back up after the light turned red while they were in the intersection. The driver of the truck reacted quickly, saving both themselves and the driver of the Mercedes. David was headed home when he watched a minivan run a red light before parallel parking like a pro. In all seriousness, this happened just feet away from a busy taco stand. It's a miracle nobody was injured. David called 911 and it seems the driver may have been experiencing a medical episode of some sort. Corey found out what happens when you mix snowy, icy, unplowed roads with bald tires and add just a pinch of going too fast. <laughs> Barely tapping the brakes caused Corey's Subaru Outback to spin all the way around. Fortunately, nobody was injured and nothing was damaged. Do you have a dash cam video that you want to share with us? Please send the video together with a description of what happened using the link in the description below. It might be time for some new tires, Corey.